Hi everybody, I'm Ali and in this short cryptocurrency video I want to tell you how to farm Radium token which is a token based on the Solana blockchain. If you're not already familiar with Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies, please first check out my other video about Bitcoin and then come here. And if you already know, then you will know what I'm going to talk about right here. So, if you check out the Solana price right here, well, Solana is a really amazing blockchain and cryptocurrency. I love it. And uh, if we check its price from the beginning of this year, I mean, at January 2021, we will see that its price significantly has been increased around 6,000%. And let me also mention that this video is not a financial advice, but it is only for educational purposes. And of course, you already know that because I'm just a simple web designer and web developer. Take care. I mean, if we had a thousand dollars invested in Solana, we would have about. Yeah, sixty thousand dollars by now, and it's just wow. Yeah, but well, it's never too late in cryptocurrencies. Currently, that I'm recording this video, the price of the Solana is hundred thirty nine, and the radium price is about ten. And its ranking on coin market cap is 108. So, how to farm radium? You don't have to buy radium. You just actually need to just have some uh, liquidity in Solana, USDT, USDC, whatever, and then bring that liquidity into radium platform and start farming Ray. In Radium platform, you can trade, you can enter farms in order to uh, harvest some tokens, or you can add liquidity in order to earn some tokens as a reward. It's one of the most popular platforms on the Solana blockchain. You can just do your own research as well. So, let's see how to farm Ray, I mean, Radium. Now, before that, we need to install a Solana wallet. I recommend Phantom because it's it has a clear design and it's easy to use. So, just install it. Click Add to Quorum in order to install its extension on the Quorum's browser. I already did this and here is my Phantom wallet. When you install the extension on your browser it will appear here and you can pin it as I already did. And here is my wallet. And then we will come to the Radium website. Radium.io. Just make sure that you have entered the right site, not a scan one. Okay? Now, you click launch app. It wants to connect to my already installed wallet, but anyway, if this is your first time, you click connect wallet and then click phantom and then you enter your passwords wallet to unlock your wallet in order to connect it with the Radium platform. Now, I connected my wallet with the Radium and then we come to the swap section of the Radium platform. And of course, before starting to farm Ray, you need to have some cash in your Phantom wallet. Now, in this video, I'm not going to cover how you can buy some cryptocurrencies on the exchanges such as Coinbase, Binance, Coinex, or whatever. 
but uh, to simply explain it, uh, you just need to register on such uh, exchanges, then buy some cryptocurrency such as USDT, USDC, Solana, Sol, which in this video we're going to use Sol cryptocurrency, and then withdraw your souls into your phantom wallet's address. And then we will come to the swap section of the Radian platform. Now, again, before we uh, come and swap out our cryptocurrencies in our wallet, let's take a look at the farms that are available on the Radian platform. The Radium farms. Well, in order to enter a farm, we need liquidity per, we, I mean LP. So, in order to enter this farm, we need Ray and Serum. In order to enter this farm, we need Ray and USDC. And uh, I personally uh, like to enter this farm, which is uh, Ray and Sol LP. Because uh, I believe that the price of Ray and Sol are uh, moving in a, a correlated way more than the other farms. So in this video we're going to enter this farm in order to harvest some ray as a reward. And uh, now let's go to the liquidity tab. So imagine this. You have some soil in your wallet and as I also mentioned earlier in order to enter a farm you need some liquidity pairs. In our example we need ray and soul. But before I go to the swap tab and start swapping out my souls in order to get some rays, I come to the liquidity tab in order to see how much I need rays. So here I select soul and here I select ray, soul and ray. For so I click max, but I'm not going to uh, provide all of my souls in order to get the liquidity pair that I need because you always keep some souls in your phantom wallet for the uh, transaction fees. So, so I'm going to just uh, provide almost half of my souls for the liquidity pair and for this amount of soul I also need this amount of ray in order to provide this liquidity pair so in the swap tab I come select soul for the ray and enter this amount and by this amount of soul I will get this amount of ray. I can click swap and then Radium platform will do the swap out transaction for me and I will get this amount of ray in my phantom wallet. In this video right now I'm not going to do that because I already have done this and I already have my liquidity per. And remember never swap out all of your souls for Ray because first you always need some souls in your wallet in order to pay for the transaction fees and second you need the minimum amount of souls for the liquidity pair in order to, to provide that for the farm that you would like to enter okay so after you have swapped out your souls for Ray you will have soul and Ray in your wallet then you can come to the liquidity tab in order to provide the liquidity per. So you can select all of your rays and that amount of soul that you already calculated for yourself 
in order to provide the LP, I mean liquidity pair. Right now this button is disabled for me because I don't have the efficient ray amount in my wallet at the moment. So I cannot provide the liquidity pair. But there's no worries. If you have the sufficient amount this button will be able won't be disabled for you and you click this button and in a matter of seconds your liquidity pair is provided and then you come to the farms tab and uh, click the farm you would like to enter I mean Ray Soul LP and then here you stake your liquidity pair you click here and you click the max max of your liquidity pair and then click confirm and that's it right now I have already uh, staked my liquidity pair I have staked this amount of liquidity pair and uh, so far I have this amount of raise rewards that I can harvest so I click harvest and it wants me to in, unlock my wallet so I do that and then I approve this transaction and if you have ever decided to unstake your LP you can just unstake them and uh, then go to the liquidity tab and you will see them right here and then you can remove them as the liquidity per and have your tokens I mean your rays and your souls back in your wallet so that's it that's all there is to farming ray so if you liked this video just smash the like button below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my channel for more free video tutorials like this see you soon